good morning dear students uh, this is our third lecture on molecular rearrangements and in continuation of our second lecture that was on beckman rearrangement uh, we will discuss uh, beckman fragmentation so beckman fragmentation basically is a competing reaction of uh, beckman rearrangement so uh, sometimes we discuss uh, this along with the beckman rearrangement and sometimes uh, this is uh, taken uh, as a separate uh, entity uh, in organic synthesis so uh, beckman fragmentation as i have told you uh, is uh, frequently competes with the beckman rearrangement so only thing is that here the substrate needs to be slightly different than the normal substrate under beckman rearrangement so when uh, the group alpha to the oxide is capable of stabilizing carbocation formation then fragmentation will become a viable reaction instead of beckman rearrangement so only difference between the substrate over here is that here uh, a group alpha to the oxide will be capable of forming a stable carbocation if that possibility is there then the reaction will undergo fragmentation instead of beckman rearrangement so this is the difference between the two so uh, we will discuss uh, on the basis of uh, some examples and when uh, this happens that then in, in intermediates we will get a stable nitrile and a carbocation will be formed and this carbocation will quickly change to form uh, a, a variety of products uh, then uh, under some other conditions this nitrile can be hydrolyzed to give us carboxylic acids or amides depending upon uh, the conditions which are used for hydrolysis uh, now for example if we are having this type of uh, cyclobutane oxide and uh, we can see over here that uh, this is the oxide part this carbon is alpha carbon and this carbon is alpha carbon and you can see that this alpha carbon we are having two methyl groups so that means and here we are having one methyl group so when this bond will break to form a stable nitrile that means a carbocation can gen can be generated either over here or over here so if this bond breaks and a carbocation is generated we will get a secondary carbocation if this bond breaks and we will get a carbocation this will give us a tertiary carbocation and we know that tertiary carbocations are very stable entities and because of this this substrate will undergo fragmentation rather than beckman rearrangement so for example when this is reacted with uh, para nitro uh, benzoyl chloride in presence of dichlorobethane we know that h from here and cl from here will be eliminated and we will get these types of intermediates and these intermediates instead of undergoing beckman rearrangement now they will undergo fragmentation at this carbon carbon bond and this pair of electrons forming a carbon nitrogen triple bond and this part is eliminated and we will get a nitrile stable nitrile is formed like this and here we will get a carbocation formed you can see that this carbocation is a tertiary carbocation which is quite stable carbocation and uh, this will eliminate one proton from here and a carbon carbon double bond is generated like this and we will get a stable uh, nitrile product like this and then this uh, nitrile 
can undergo hydrolysis to give us carboxylic acids as the product or if partial hydrolysis is done then we can even get amides as the product so this is how we can differentiate between beckman fragmentation and beckman rearrangement then some more examples that if uh, uh, some oxygen or nitrogen atoms uh, they are present at the alpha position uh, then also uh, these uh, groups they will promote fragmentation rather than beckman rearrangement so uh, if oxygen is present we will get ketones as the product and if nitrogen is present we will get amines amines means carbon nitrogen double bonded compound and similarly if sulfur is present at the alpha position then also fragmentation will be promoted so either oxygen or nitrogen or sulfur if they are present uh, at the alpha position to the sign then the promotion of fragmentation is observed that fragmentation uh, overtakes the beckman rearrangement for example in this sign this carbon is an alpha carbon and uh, hydroxy group is present that means this oxygen will promote the fragmentation in this compound and we will get ketones as the product so in the first instance thionyl chloride we know that will react with uh, this uh, oh group and uh, then uh, fragmentation of this bond will take place and this will generate a carbon nitrogen yeah. double bond and this uh, hydroxyl group will be converted into a ketone group so this is how ketones they will be formed as the product similarly in this case uh, in this enzyme uh, the presence of uh, sulfur this will also promote fragmentation and uh, uh, with the uh, breaking of this carbon carbon bond a stable uh, nitrile will be formed at this place then this sulfur will share uh, its lone pair of electrons with this and a uh, sulfenium uh, three membered uh, uh, sulfenium ion will be formed at this place and you know that uh, sulfur promotes neighboring group participation reactions also and because of that uh, then uh, this nitrogen will attack at this place and this positive charge on nitrogen uh, uh, positive charge on sulfur will be neutralized and we will get these types of products uh, in the uh, beckman fragmentation reaction another example is of uh, this type of enzyme uh, here uh, in the presence of diethyl amino sulfur trifluoride that is uh, known as the test here also this will undergo uh, fragmentation reaction and uh, uh, we can trap the carbocation intermediate form this uh, in this reaction with this task so uh, when this bond uh, fragments uh, here we will get a nitrile uh, with the elimination of uh, this oh group here this carbocation tertiary carbocation uh, which will be a very stable because of the presence of this phenyl group because then this will be a, uh, not only tertiary alkyl but this will be a benzylic uh, carbocation and then this uh, benzylic carbocation uh, will uh, take up the fluoride atom uh, from diethyl amino sulfur trifluoride and we will get uh, these types of uh, fluoronitriles as the product and uh, formation of these uh, fluoronitrile products uh, clearly indicates the presence of these types of intermediate that is carbocation intermediates in the uh, beckman fragmentation reaction uh, then another example uh, is in case of uh, camphor oxime uh, when camphor is reacted uh, with uh, hydroxylamine we know this will give uh, camphor oxime as the product and when this camphor oxime is uh, reacted with acetyl chloride then instead of undergoing beckman rearrangement it undergoes beckman fragmentation with a 
breaking of this carbon carbon bond and this breaking of this bond will generate a uh, ni stable nitrile and a uh, carbocation at this place which will be further converted into this type of nitrile as the product. Uh, the mechanism of this reaction is uh, that this enzyme will react with acetyl chloride first and uh, uh, H from uh, enzyme and Cl from acetyl chloride uh, will be eliminated and we will get N acetate as the intermediate and we know that acetate is a very good li leaving group which will uh, enhance the extent of uh, fragmentation in the intermediate to give us uh, this type of uh, carbocation then this uh, carbocation will lose a proton to form a carbon carbon double bond and we will get this type of uh, nitrile as the product and then this nitrile can further undergo hydrolysis under different conditions to give us uh, either amides or carbon uh, carboxylic acids as the product. If uh, partial hydrolysis is done, we will get amides as the product. If complete hydrolysis is done, we will get carboxylic acids as the product. So these are uh, various uh, references uh, which have been used uh, for preparing this lecture. Thank you very much.